Society expects a lot from teachers. We ask them to simultaneously be experts in teaching, child development, classroom management, administration, even psychology. But do we respect teachers and value them as a professional workforce? Does the school system give teachers enough room to act as real professionals? Perhaps not. Even with the enormous responsibility bestowed upon teachers, only 26% of them feel that society values their work. Couple that with frustratingly large and stressful amounts of admin, which is an issue for one in two teachers, and suddenly teaching doesn't look so attractive as a career choice. What can we do to improve things? Data from the OECD Teaching and Learning International Survey, or TALUS, provide a few pointers. For starters, TALUS tells us that job satisfaction is higher when teachers receive support for their professional growth. So we should look to transform schools into intellectually attractive spaces where professional development can thrive. At the same time, schools could make the job of teaching more collegial by encouraging more professional collaboration among teachers. Right now, roughly one in five teachers don't feel that they work in a collaborative culture, and only 28% run classes as a team at least once a month. We also know that almost three quarters of teachers who receive feedback on their work found it useful for improving their practice, suggesting that a growth mindset among teachers can help develop an ecosystem of continuous peer learning. And we could boost that ecosystem by improving appraisal systems so that teachers are recognized for their efforts. But the schools themselves need the autonomy to make the appraisal process meaningful. Talis tells us that getting a bonus after a performance review is more likely to occur in schools that have control over teachers' salaries. Teachers should also be given a greater sense of autonomy in school. Around 90% of teachers feel that what happens in class is in their hands, but far less say they're involved in curriculum and school policy decisions. That's an area we should really improve on because teacher autonomy and innovative practices go hand in hand. Giving teachers more room to teach, learn and adapt is the best way to reshape education for the 21st century.